to whoever lives here, I have left my baby Ren on your doorstep. Please take care of him, as I have not spent any time with him since buying machine. I hope he finds love in your home. Thank you. Sucker. <laughs> Machine Batman mother boop. Yo, what up? Uh Akai Ren users, Renaissance users, don't hit dislike just yet if you haven't done it already. That's just jokes. You know, that video and intro, you know, the same thing as I did with the walking into the guitar center smelling the Ren before it came out, blah blah blah. That was it's all jokes. The Ren is dope. I have it. I'm selling it. But not because it's whack. It's just I bought too much stuff in 2012 and I need to scale back. Machine has always been it for me as far as the hardware to software combo. And it's just from where my, my working, it's the best for me. Uh, so pretty much as I stated before, the Renaissance, I love the sequencing on that. I love the sequencing. As usual, I can NPC workflow, go to the next track and just, you know, it has a feel to it. I like it. It's, it's dope. I like sequencing on that actually better than on machine. Um, and, you know, you can export the tracks that you have. And it, it's cool. It's a lot of stuff to it uh, that I can't even go into detail. I, I, I messed around with it for three months. It's dope. Point blank. But bottom line is machine is faster for me for what I do. I like to sample from old dirty, dusty records or online, whatever. And there's there's no way that... The Renaissance is faster than machine in this household as far as editing samples. I sample, I pick a pad, sample, it's on the pad, I hit I hit it, the edit screen comes up. I could duplicate it like this four times. If I want five duplicate, whole duplicate, one, two, three, four, five. It's on five pads. I can edit the start point, hit pad one, edit start point, pad two, edit start point, end point, pad three, same thing, boom, and that's how... I like to work. I don't like to have to come out of sample mode to go to the next sample. I don't like to have all 16 pads doing different things within that one sample. That's just not my workflow. I like to be able to go faster than that. So machine wins for me. Plus, you know, I got complete, you know, I got complete A. So calling up just the uh, bass sounds and everything directly from the hardware, because I don't usually look at the screen that much. So calling the bases and all these different items, sounds and stuff up from the hardware is dope. You know, so you can't really, uh, for me, there's no other way to go about it. You know, both of them in their current state that they're in right now, neither one is the killer of the other. That's my opinion. Machine is not the killer of the NPC. NPC is not the killer of machine. That's it. We got two separate camps. I don't know where each one's going in the future. I know they're going to try to take each other out. Neither one is going to take the other out because they both got loyal followings. You know, so we can stop with all the machine killer. We can stop with the NPCs whack or whatever. It's just not going to happen. So um, that's it in a nutshell. People always ask me. I get YouTube comments or in my YouTube email about me. What do I think about the rent? You know, because people probably see me commenting on it, you know, that I have it. You know, I go to different sites where people make beats with the rent. And don't you want to be hot? And I'll comment if it's hot. You know, I'll say, yo, it's, it's hot. I ain't. And I don't work for Native Instruments. I remember I told y'all that. So, you know, I have no problem giving props to, you know, somebody using other equipment. 
you know, so, but it's just not for me. So, you know, my, my NPC is going up for sale. So it could be in a better household where somebody can make better use of it than I will. Cause it's just going to be sitting here. Cause I just, I, I, I need to be able to work with samples, especially sampling. I need to be able to work with it fast. And that's just how, you know, my ideas leave my head too fast. So I ain't got time to be just a different thing. So that's my last, uh, this is, you know, my last comments on the machine Ren battle. It really ain't no battle no more. You know, each got its own lane. And if people ask me, I'm just going to direct you to this video. And then you'll know what my thoughts on it are. So, uh, 2012, I bought too much stuff. Got into all the bells and whistles of listening to different things or looking at different things and didn't focus on my beat making. I'm scaling back now. So, I'm pretty much rolling with machine. My doll, I use Studio One. FL Studio 10, which is about to drop to 11. Yeah, I use FL Studio, believe that. Um, and, uh, you know, I got most of the VST soft since like Omnisphere and all this other stuff, Nexus, Silent, Dune, all that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm scaling back. I'm getting back into making the music. I'm out of the war now. I, have, I know I got, I got what I have. I'm going to use what I have. All right. So until the next video, I will talk to you soon. This is not out.